And welcome back to The Jason Show. Well, she is a TV producing legend. I actually like to say she's a late night legend. Uh, following her years for producing for Letterman during the NBC years. Well, now it's all about food. And oh, by the way, she also, uh, in between all that, she co-created The Daily Show. Please welcome back to the show our dear friend, we were once married, you all know that, from Mad in the Kitchen, it's Madeline Smith. Hello, sweetie. Okay, Jason, I have a couple of bones to pick with you. I thought I was your wife. I don't remember getting divorced, but then again, there's been some blank years. But uh, but you have so many other wives. Like, I'm not a Mormon. I, I think we have to have a, a real heart-to-heart, and you have to make a serious decision. <laughs> I, 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 you're right. The only other, like, other Madeline-esque wife is Katie Couric. So, well, I think we can negotiate this, Madeline. I think we can negotiate this. Okay, I think it can definitely uh, it can definitely be worked out. Uh, I just like to give you crap, especially yeah. because how many cameras do you have, Jason? Okay, I know I heard about this in the break. I heard about this in the break, so I don't know if they told you. I'm coming to you from home. I'm isolating, and uh, I'm feeling fine though. But I'm isolating. I only have this camera now. I can move it, but I have only one camera. So, how many cameras do you have now, Madeline? Uh, Jason, I have four today. Uh, basically, we added one just for you. Uh, and uh, I will give you a tour of them. Do you want to see it right now, or do you want to wait for a big reveal I, later? I, I, I think we should make the folks wait. I think we should reveal yeah. it when we reveal the finished product of the food. That's what I was thinking. You're a producer just like me. That was my thought. Um, so, hi, you've been all over the place and uh, now you're home locked in. I also was exposed and quarantined for a week and it was after a snowstorm, which snowed us in, and then three days of hail and sleet. By the time I was locked in for six days, I felt like I was in the world's most well-stocked prison. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 at least you can cook real well. Okay, you're making... I heard you're making you're making one of my favorite things or ingredients. You're making something with brie. What are, what are, what are you doing? Okay, I am doing my version of baked brie, and I am very excited about it. So I will tell you what it is. It's basically it's going to be a baked uh, brie with uh, almonds, which we're going to hammer, uh, honey, and th- and thyme, and it is, and then we finish it with pomegranate seeds. <coughs> I don't have COVID. It's just early in the morning. Anyway, it's a melty <laughs> mess. And then, and then we're going to make beautiful crostini out of a baguette. So shall I get going? You shall get going. This, Proceed. I'm loving the delay. The delay is fantastic. I know. Um, it's like we're right. in, it's, it's like we're, it's like we're in some foreign country. I think it's like you're in space. It's like when the people talk to us from space. So that's the way I'm going to think of it. You're in space, and there just happens to be a beautiful brick wall. Um, All right, so here we go. We slice our baguette. That's the first thing we do. I actually have some reason why I kind of enjoy doing this, and I don't know what that is. But I'm just going to take, like, five of them, and I'm going to lay them out here on my sheet pan, which I've coated with... uh, parchment paper, which keeps me from having to wash said sheet pan. And then I do a a generous drizzle with olive oil because there's really no other kind of drizzle you could do with olive oil. And then I put on a little bit of salt. Let's say a little bit of salt. And that's it. And then you pop it in an oven. My oven is on 400. And uh, I'm just going to pop these in for like four minutes so that they get nice and crunchy. And then we're going to work on our brie. So basically, uh, you're going to score it. That doesn't mean that you're going to give it like, you know, eight. Uh, You're going to cut lines that don't go all the way through. And then you turn it and you do it again. And so it just makes it really pretty. And you get those cute little fancy squares. And you plop the brie into an oven-proof baking dish. And here comes the fun part. I start with the honey uh, because that makes everything else stick. 
and I just slather it in honey. And right there, you could just stop, and it would be delicious. Uh, but here's the fun part. Then I'm going to take my, these are almonds. They're Marcona almonds, which are uh, salty Spanish almonds, and they're super fun. And this is where I get to get my yayas out. I'm just gonna hammer them. Er, 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 beat it, beat it. I'm hammering. <laughs> My neighbors are gonna be like, what is she doing? It's eight in the morning. She doesn't fix things. <laughs> then I'm gonna, <laughs> then I'm gonna, thank you. It's the delayed laugh. Then I dump almonds all over it. And they're really nice because the almonds have like a smoky, salty flavor and then i'm gonna put a little more just a little bit of olive oil because why not and then salt and pepper hey, we're, yep. wh why don't we okay you keep going we're gonna take a break and then after the break we're gonna see what it looks like at the end and you're not gonna see this on the view you're not gonna see this on the price is right madeline is gonna unveil her four cameras when we return right. back in a moment <laughs> This is the world's fastest side dish. It's so fast that I'm gonna hold my breath while I make it. It's 60 second spinach in the microwave. Here I go. Welcome back. That's my buddy, Madeline Smithberg. Look at her, she's on the reels. She's on the Instagram. She's probably on the TikTok. She's a modern lady of the new millennium. And she continues <laughs> uh, with her baked brie recipe. Look at that. I know. Well, we're, it's going to have even another finishing touch. But I have to say I'm having so much fun with the short form videos. Uh, and I, I do the best for some reason on Instagram Reels. So I'm at Mad in the Kitch uh, on Instagram and also on TikTok. But, but, uh, but Instagram Reels loves me, so I've stopped making the longer videos for a minute because why would I even bother when I can do, I can get like 9,000 views on Instagram Reels. Um, all right, so Jason, we have our finished product almost. Uh, it's just, it, it baked a little more than I would have liked it to, but what the hell. It's nice, it's delicious, it's gooey. It is so good. I wish you could be here to try it. Uh, do you want me to do my camera thing? Okay. And now, yes, I would like to. I would like a big moment here. I would like. Uh, I would like Drum the roll. reveal of the one, two, three, four cameras. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Da 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 da. Camera one. Camera two. Camera. Three, and there it is, Jason. Big drum roll. This is just for you. It's the finished product. Wow! And I'm gonna dump some, look at this, pomegranate seeds. It's just incredible. And then you just dip it in and you blow on it. I've learned that. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I, really okay, good. you too. I got to tell you that fourth camera. That's I think that's actually other than looking at your beautiful face with the new haircut, by the way, uh, that I noticed the gays notice everything. But your that fourth camera reveal is fantastic because you got your logo in there, girl. You got marketing in that fourth camera. I know it's really, really exciting. Uh, and we set it up just for you. I was like, we got to get Jason a fourth I camera. Wanna, I want to ask you, I want to go back because we have just a few minutes before we take another break. But as a TV producer, you know, for people that don't know, the five that watch our show, Madeline uh, co-created The Daily Show. She was a Letterman producer. We're going to hear stories in the next segment. But it is fascinating to me because Dave used to joke in his last three or four years that, you know, uh, he didn't know how to use Twitter. He didn't know... As someone that has worked in television her entire life, are you and how are you enjoying this new era of short form content on the TikTok, on Instagram, which Madeline's on? How are you liking it as a producer? 
Oh my God. First of all, I couldn't do it without Marisa. Step in. She's going to be pissed because it's the morning. She doesn't have makeup. Hi. But uh, Marisa is my right hand. Hi. Uh, as is Sky, who's behind uh, all these cameras and switching. But I love it. Oh, well, let me show you this. This is our, we don't have a tally light. So when Sky wants me to look at a camera, he points at the chicken at the camera and the cameras change. <laughs> <laughs> it's the comedy chicken, but I love the short form. It's super creative. I'm doing this really funny series called The Mad Lab. Whoa! And we filled my kitchen with dry ice, and uh, we had everything bubbling and purple. And then I take, like, you know, I did the Vegetti, and I just was like, oh my God, it really works. So that's my new thing. People can watch The Mad Lab uh, on my Instagram or TikTok at Mad in the Kitchen. But no, I find it really challenging. And really satisfying because it's a quick, easy hit. And uh, I get to really play in terms of my silliness and creativity, yeah. which I'm just digging into right now, <laughs> as you can see. Well, that is the future. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the past. As I said, Madeline is a late night icon. Another great story of hers when we come back. Back in a moment. Hey, welcome back to the Jason Show. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm, it's so good to be back. I, I missed you guys, and I missed our special guest today, the one and only Madeline Smithberg. Now, Madeline, every time she's here, she always has great stories from her years with NBC, with Letterman, with The Daily Show, and today is no different. We're going to take a look at the clip, and then Madeline's going to tell us about it. So in this clip, this is um, – watch closely. This is uh, a guest that Madeline considers one of her most – Difficult, I guess. Take a look. Get now, get get something big out of there. Oh, you want something big? Something big. We we're running out of time okay. here. I'm sorry, okay. Jerry. All right. Do we want to do we want to start out with a catfish? No, no, or... Get that tire over there, will you, Jerry? Okay, the tire. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Now, now don't now don't be doing that. We don't want to see. Now I'm not holding that one. I'm sorry. Dave, no, that's that's too big. It's already paralyzed. Oh, no, no. The fish can't do anything to you. Put him right in oh, there. Come on, Dave. No, 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 no. Oh. No, because I've seen these. I've seen these uh, like dislocated guy's shoulder. They can do that. They can do that. Yeah. And uh, also, I've seen them chip a nail on somebody. Yeah, that, that's. Just uh, put it in the tank, Jerry. Lee nails would be really just, great for this. Oh my God! How much did that thing weigh? Uh, that was just a baby. He probably weighed oh, I don't know, 10, 12 pounds, something like that. Hey, the carp is belly up, Jerry. Does that? Is that a? That's uh. All right, uh, that's not a good sign. Grab no. one more out of it. Okay. Okay. 
So you saw it there, and now, I love this, it's oh like pop-up God. video. Okay, Madeline, tell the story. What, what do we need to know about that? We have like four or five minutes. Okay, so first of all, I just knocked a lid of a pan onto my toe. Um, first of all, I thought I was out of stories, because every time you ask me to come on, I love it, and I'm just, I stress, because I'm like, okay, I was only there for six years. Every day isn't a story. And so I really thought that I was out of stories, and then it came to me. Jerry Ryder, the catfish noodler. Now, a catfish noodler is a guy that goes in the rivers in... Uh, where was he? Oklahoma. And he catches catfish with his bare hands. And it sounded like a perfect thing. So I thought, oh my God, I'm going to do this big. It was the worst segment I ever booked or produced. It was like the worst experience, the worst, just every single thing about it was horrible. And it was made more horrible by the fact that we built a swimming pool in the studio. And uh, the guy, the, the Saturday before he's going to be on the show, he calls my home phone. And it's like eight in the morning and I'm asleep. But the whole entire conversation was recorded on my answering machine. And he basically was like, hey, Madeline, it's Jerry Ryder. I'm fixing to load up the catfish. Now, I need more money. And I have this whole like yelling conversation with him where I, I say, I can't spend more money. Just come with the catfish, which was probably in retrospect, definitely a mistake. So he shows up and he's got this giant truck and there's like five catfish and they've gotten very sleepy during the trip. So my prop man, Gordon Jewell, an angel, goes down to Chinatown where they sell live carp, which are a cousin of the catfish. Uh, and we load all the fish in the pool where they basically proceed to fall asleep and or die. And in rehearsal, he shows off and he <coughs> cuts his hand so now he has a giant bandage. He was the most unpleasant person I've ever had to deal with. He got pissed in rehearsal. Dave got pissed during the segment because there was, you saw the highlight. There was 11 other minutes of just fish laying there and uh, the man standing in a pool. And I was just in horror. And then apparently after the show, uh, he got really drunk and was hanging out on the loading dock and just trashing everybody on the show. He was just trashing me, <coughs> Dave, and all the stagehands in a drunken stupor. He was totally drunk. They had to get like the, the security to escort him from the premises. So it's been a lifetime of amazing oh. segments with great stories, but that one was absolutely horrible from start to finish. And when I watch it, I got a kind of like PTSD. We have 15 seconds. Does Dave, could you instantly tell, because Jeff can tell with me and Ted, because everything shows on my face. Do you know instantly when Dave isn't in rhythm with a guest? Instantly. And it's a kind of pain I don't wish on anybody. <laughs> I think my producers would agree. Uh, Madeline, I love you. We'll work thing. out our marriage uh, issues. Yeah. We'll work out our marriage issues on the gram. Everybody follow Madeline on Insta, on the gram, the Instagram reels, Mad in the Kitchen. And you can get info on her live <laughs> events as well. That's right. I love you, sweetie. We'll see you soon. I love you, Jason. Have a good quarantine. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to take a break. Kendall's coming back with the big, uh, shortest, uh, shortest segment and the surprise ending. I haven't done this in a while. I forgot her segment. Back in a moment.